Hi there, this is Sara and I'm here in my living room and I can't go out because Nilsson's out so I need to close the door when he's out because uh, he still needs to get a bit accustomed to this room before going in the rest of the house. Hi! Hi, you won't see him, he's not in his cage of course, he's up there right now. He's been up there for half an hour, more or less, he likes there. Hello! So I'm not making this video with the proper lights in my corner set up for the videos, but here in his company because I need to keep an eye on him when he is outside the cage. Today we are gonna talk about parrots in general and this video can be useful for uh, someone who would like to buy a parrot but uh, doesn't know if it's the right animal for him. Parrots are misunderstood animals in my opinion. They are often considered easy animals. Of course, there are no easy animals, but with birds in general this mistake is frequent. Some people think they need no specific care, they just need a cage and fresh water and food and there they stand no problem and when you go on holiday you can ask your next door neighbor to oh, come once a day to change the water. No, they're not vegetables, <laughs> okay? Parrots are very sensitive animals and they need much care. First of all, they need company. They need loads of company. The they're very sociable and they suffer loneliness very much. So I work mostly at home, but if you work outside your house, for example, leave home early in the morning and come back for dinner, you should consider taking in your house two parrots, not just one, because just one left alone all day would suffer very much and have health problems as well. They can suffer of depression and when they suffer of depression they can hurt themselves as well. Take away their features, they have major health problems. So don't leave your parrot alone all day, all days. If nobody can stay home with him and you can't take two parrots, don't take one parrot. The second thing uh, most of people don't consider is that they don't just eat seeds. They need a great variety of foods, fresh foods. I'll dedicate for sure more videos to food for parrots, but they need fruit, vegetables and other stuff you have to pick for them every day. So it's not just easy as that, okay, I put some seeds in the food dispenser and it's okay for the week. No, it doesn't work like that. Another thing to consider is do you have other animals or don't you? A natural predator as a dog or a cat can be a danger for a parrot, of course. If you can't make them live in separate rooms, this could really be a danger. Parrots like a cockatiel are very kind and sweet creatures, so they're not aggressive. It depends on the parrot, of course, but they're not naturally aggressive, so they're okay with kids. The question is, is a kid okay with a parrot? If you have kids, you should always check out how they relate with the parrot. Check out, they don't hurt him, they don't frighten him, they treat him with respect. Sometimes little kids don't realize parrots are scared and they frighten them by making, for example, an unpredictable and fast move. So teach your kid how to properly relate with the parrot. Another thing is that they require a lot of attention. Uh, you should dedicate to him at least a couple of hours a day. He needs your attention, he needs company. He needs you to play with him or take care of him, to talk to him, to give him attention in general. If all these things are okay with you, 
A parrot is a wonderful animal, a wonderful pet to have in the house. A parrot can create a very strong bond of friendship with you and your family and will be a very great companion for many years. Okay, baby! Now I'm going to spoil my companion. Hi! Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! Okay, I guess it's all for today. Thank you for watching and please spread this video and this channel to your friends with birds. See you in the next video. Bye!